Caddis Maximus here, this time with a short video about some an eclectic collection, a small collection of specially and unique drill bits. There's definitely tons of drill bits, and that's why I'm doing uh, more incrementalized videos, because otherwise it would just be this huge, long video about all these different bits. And yes, I will get into masonry drilling bits and more uh, woodworking-oriented bits, but this is kind of just a small collection of uh, glass and tile drilling bits, as well as some more unique bits, such as uh, these turbo point bits, uh, some specialty machine shop drill bits. We'll just go ahead and start off. This is the Harbor Freight mortar bit, and these are always kind of really special, real specialty, and I had no idea what this kind of a bit was for until I uh, finally found out. And that's just the purpose of talking about these special kind of looking bits with the chisel are actually for making square holes in wood. You have the uh, bit and then you kind of jam it into the wood and the little spikes center it, both the bit and then the chisel. And then you drill the hole that you need and the chips travel up and actually fall out of this slot. And after you're done drilling your hole, you would actually pull out the bit and then use this part as a chisel. And that's the way it's designed. It has sharp teeth and then it takes and the round hole to these will square up the corners and you just actually chisel down into the hole and then that's how you get a square hole for mortise and tenon. So that's what these kind of bits are for. They're really pretty odd and if you have no idea it's a, a bit for making square holes, you might not know. The other bits that we have here are some various generations of uh, Harbor Freight glass and tile bits. These bits are for drilling in very hard materials, glass and tile, and they always have kind of a strange tip to them. This newer black one's actually an Irwin, but Harbor Freight's also selling the very same bits. But that's what they are. They're really strange. They kind of look like miniature uh, paddle bits for wood drilling, except for they just have a piece of carbide in there. Nicer ones, you know, a little bit better. They'll put a little chamfer just so it's a little easier for it to start. Where these early grade Harbor Freight's uh, didn't have very much chamfer, but they were built better. They had a really nice thick shank. Then they appeared to get a little bit cheaper where they used a thinner shank and some very low quality uh, chrome plated carbide. And now they've moved up to these, which are the same ones that Irwin uh, is also selling, which has a completely different uh, tip style on it. I find that these work pretty well, but sometimes I've had a little bit of chattering with these and I still kind of like the, the teardrop ones, which are they're real progressive. And right at the very end, they size the hole to the full size thereby reducing the potential for chattering. And yes, these are the types of bits that you would use to make holes in both glass and ceramic tile and uh, any other stone, any other kind of real hard materials. And they tend to size holes pretty good. Uh, an older style, this is a very old type of masonry bit. And these are traditionally what have has been used for drilling and things like glass and tile. But these newer style bits really do work better in those specific situations. You just don't want to use them in a hammer drill for actual masonry drilling because it has the piece of carbide so large, it's very easy for it to chip and break under those uh, impact loads. So these are not rated for rotary hammers or hammer drills. They are just for straight drilling where a bit like this would be a little bit more akin to using with a hammer drill. And this is a very old one. I'm going to do another video on masonry drills, but I did want to show what a very vintage style masonry look, drill looks like. These are also from Harbor Freight, and these are drywall cutout bits. And these were popular for a short while, and I have a couple of them, uh, just for the certain situations where you might need them. And these are always kind of special because you have a regular twist drill, so they're designed for you to drill a hole and then once you have that hole, they have a bunch of teeth here. And that's so you can actually run the drill sideways and then it just kind of grinds it out. They actually are pretty darn good in uh, non-ferrous metals as well as plastics. And so they are kind of handy to have in a collection. I will do a little comparison of these. I forgot I even had a couple of these. I only have a quarter inch and then this half inch one. And this is also Irwin, but these are a turbo point drill bit. So DeWalt has a pilot point, but these are kind of like the next generation where they have a very, very sharp little pilot tip. And then they have this real special grind right here. And they do tend to drill pretty fast and pretty on size. I think they are a nice uh, tip design, but once again, 
Uh, the issue with all these pilot points and turbo tips is even though they do seem to work pretty well, as soon as they dull and you have to resharpen the drill bit, you're just resharpening it to uh, just standard drill bit again. So you lose all the advantage of those points. And I think that's really why those types of bits just have not sold. Uh, mainly because as soon as they get dull, you either have to throw it away or just grind it and it becomes a standard drill bit. And why not just have a standard drill bit to begin with? And really, this is a kind of geometry that would be very difficult to grind. Then finally, last but, lot, not, last but not least, and I think I talked about this drill bit a long time ago, but this is, uh, they do make extreme high performance twist drills, and this is one of them. I think this is a little 3 8 or 7 16 And it looks like a standard twist drill, except for it has really thick flutes. It's a real, and not very deep channels. It's a very rigid shank. And if we look, we can see that there's something strange going on in there. This has a carbide insert for the cutting edge. And it goes down maybe a quarter of an inch, so it can be resharpened a few times. But this is a truly high-performance steel drilling drill bit. So a lot of people talk about, say, cobalt drill bits and how well they work. Uh, cobalt drill bits don't even hold a candle to one of these carbide-tipped twist drills. These really are high performance. These you can spin at very high speeds getting, you know, you know, not red hot, but, you know, blue chip, uh, very fast drilling in steels. And that's really what they shine for is when you're drilling steels and stainless steels, these types of bits really hold an edge much longer and you can go much faster and take a much larger chip. And man, it's just incredible how fast you can get through metals using one of these drill bits. They just tend to be super duper expensive. Actually, I shouldn't say super duper, just super expensive. This drill bit right here will probably set you back $20, $25 or something. That's just for one single drill bit. Now, if you want to step up to the next level and actually spend like $50 on a single drill bit, what we have here is a drill bit that uh, really should never be used by hand or even in a drill press these are for cnc machines and this is a 100 percent pure carbide drill bit three flutes and these are extreme performance these are made for cnc machines to drill absolutely as fast as the material will take it and a lot of people didn't know but yeah they do make just 100 percent pure carbide twist drills and because of all the diamond grinding that's involved with them is one of the reasons they're so expensive um, these larger ones you can use with a hand drill, especially uh, in steels. You just have to be real careful because obviously they don't take a lot of lateral loads. But man, their performance is just unbelievable. At someday I will do like a little uh, performance comparison of all these different drill bits. Anyway, I just wanted to make a little video just about some specially and unique drill bits and uh, bring some awareness to them. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.